Hi there, my name is Jason Caldwell. I'm the lead developer for the S2 member plugin for WordPress. All right, I'm just doing another video here covering a topic in the forums. Um, this is a topic uh, of, of, very, uh, of great importance, and uh, it's been reported several times, and we've answered it uh, in the forum several times and tried to clear up any confusion, but I thought I'd go ahead and take the time to do a video just so I could kind of consolidate um, all of the issues related to the way S2 member protects posts and pages and categories and some of the little gotchas here and there that, that uh, get people sometimes and create confusion. So we're going to dive right in. I'm going to flip tabs here. Over This is an installation of WordPress 3.1 with the default 2010 theme. And I've created three test posts here. And I've got my front page configured to show the latest posts. So here's the first one. This was a great show, huh? <laughs> and then we have another one, identical, it's test post B, test post A. Okay, now believe it or not, all three of these posts are protected and I'm not logged into the site. So for many site owners, this creates confusion because they think, okay, well, wait a minute, I've protected these posts, how come I'm not logged in but I'm able to see them? Okay, but this is the intended, fun the intended functionality. By default, S2 member is only going to protect the permalink of each post or page that you protect. Okay, that is when you protect a specific post or a specific page directly, in other words you're not protecting an entire category of pages, then each post is going to have its permalink protected. Okay, now permalink is the permanent location of the post. What we're looking at now is what we consider to be an archive view. In other words, this is the front page of the site where you, what you're seeing here are snippets. The excerpt that I have configured for the post is what is appearing in this list. Okay, so I'm seeing a short clip of each post. And if I were to click on the permalink, which is the actual permanent URL, see so if you, I'm hovering over this, if you look down in the left hand, bottom left hand corner of the screen, you will see the full URL to the post. That is the permalink. Okay, so when I click on that permalink, this post is protected and I'm not logged in. So I get redirected to the membership options page that I have configured for S2 member. Okay, so that's how it's designed to work. And that is also the case, for example, this particular test post C is posted inside of test category C. So if I click on test category C, I'm going to be able to see an excerpt of that post. So by default, S2 member assumes that you will want excerpts of the post, or we might refer to them as teasers. You want those to remain visible so that at least some of your content is being indexed by the search engines. At least your, your customers are seeing a glimpse of what they're going to gain access to. And if they attempt to, to continue reading the post or the, or the page, then, then it's only then that they'll be redirected to the membership options page. Okay, so that's, that's one of the first, probably the most prominent uh, things that we run into in the forum is is a misunderstanding on how S2 member is handling that. All right. Also, it's your responsibility by default, okay, if when you're using S2 member in this in this default way to configure the excerpts for your post. And this is different and different in each theme. So some themes will are designed to show the full post. Some themes are designed to show uh, just a textual post and do not include any media like you see here. There wouldn't be an image ever. It would always be text, and it might have a continue reading link here. Some themes are different, and so by default, you may have to adjust your theme to meet what you actually want visible in these archive views. Okay, now an alternative to that is to use S2 members configuration, which this is something that's not enabled by default, but you can turn it on. In your S2 member general options panel, there is a section that is called alternative view protection, where you can tell S2 member, okay, I, I really just want to lock it all down. I don't want any of these archive views, these alternative views as we call them. I don't want this content to be seen anywhere. I don't want excerpts seen. I don't want anything. I just want them all, all locked down. If you want to do that, you can enable S2 members alternative view protection. And we're going to discuss that in the second segment of this video. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, and take a break here for just a moment. And then when I come back, I'm going to pick back up in the dashboard. I'm going to talk about a couple of other uh, issues that you may be facing. And I'm also going to detail that alternative view protection that I just mentioned. Okay, so we'll pick that up in the very next segment.